Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and one of the questions, actually two, two questions that came out uh, yesterday and today um, concerning zero days and concerning the attacks and the different security flaws that we discover. And of course, um, there are impressions that sometimes things are actually worse than, than before. Uh, remember one thing. So first of all, about the zero days themselves, uh, because that was the first question. It seems like there's a lot of zero days exploited in the wall already happening lately. And the thing is, um, this has to do, um, you know, we say it all the time. It's a big war that's happening out there with uh, updates for, you know, uh, Windows, updates for the browsers, and uh, making sure that everything's safe. And the thing is, there are groups of hackers that are there to just find um, the security flaws that uh, every software has, including operating systems. And of course, that's in order to be able to take control, send malware, there's a lot of different types of attacks. There's state-run attacks, so there are, um, you know, countries out there that working hard to try to find flaws because they know that they'll be able to exploit, you know, companies or even uh, government agencies through these flaws. There's also the other type of um, security uh, flaw that is sending malware, ransomware, trying to make money off of it. So it's a big business on one side of these hackers trying to either make money or go through, you know, networks, important networks. Now, um, there isn't a, there isn't a uh, necessarily that much of an increase, but because this war is going on and this war is a big war, what happens all the time is that it actually will always be a war and there will always be zero days discovered. Nothing is really fixed in it, um, you know, and nothing is um, perfect. Uh, when code is created in Windows, in software, it's made by humans. There are flaws in it. And, of course, who finds it first is what's going to happen. So, usually when they're not zero days, it's because the company that makes the, um, the, the software either has been warned or has discovered the security flaw. So, we have Patch Tuesday updates in Windows. Why? Because Patch Tuesday updates in Windows fix these flaws every month and there are different sources that will actually tip Microsoft into fixing the security flaws. Now it could happen also that uh, Microsoft itself will find them but most of the time it's security uh, firms out there that will actually fix that. Now one of the biggest things about that is the fact that we have also um, an increase sometimes in the types of security flaws because of a common um, format or a common source of code. And this is for the other question that is, how come Google Chrome seems to be always exploited? And that, you know, why is Firefox not exploited? Or we don't hear a lot about Safari, although Safari does have its security updates when Mac has uh, security updates and, and iOS. The thing is, is that the hackers out there will actually target what is the most popular. So what's the most popular in the web browser? It's a base called Chromium. And if you're using, you know, Brave, you're using Opera, you're using Edge, you're using uh, Chrome and Vivaldi and basically anything else that is not Safari or Firefox, it's all using this same basic code that is from the Chromium open source project. So the good side of using an open source common to everybody is that 
it's easier to develop. It's easier to make new software and new browsers. You just put the skin and, you know, tweak it the way you want. So there's a good side to that. The problem is, and also in compatibility, uh, it often is better. The problem with that is that when you use the same common goal, the same common goal, so the same code at the base, what happens? Well, of course, a lot more people will start looking at what can be tweaked, what can be exploited off of that code. Because if you find a zero day in the Chromium project, you're immediately infecting, if you want, 95% of the browsers out there. Because the only browser that's excluded in Windows from that is Firefox, and Firefox is a very low number. So it's really a numbers game. You want to try to exploit the biggest number possible. So that's why the impression of Google Chrome being hit more is there, and it's there because it is being targeted more because of the Chromium base, because they know that if you infect or if you're able to infect with a zero-day Chrome browser, you'll be able to infect Edge, Vivaldi, Brave, as long as it's not fixed. So it's, once again, a war of numbers, uh, the same as a lot of people saying, well, you know, Windows is, is insecure. It's not. It's a very secure operating system. But it's targeted number one. Why? Because it's the biggest operating system for desktop and PCs. So you're going to go through a numbers game once again. Uh, look at Mac. Mac has been increasing in market share. It also has an increase in malware. So it all goes with the numbers all the time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.